Move over, Kate and Jody. It's time for the Kevins and Joes to take centre stage. After years of rumour and proposition, London is finally hosting an event that aims to ape the success of the Women's Wear London Fashion Week. One of the men behind the event is menswear expert John Rowley. Well, the event has been staged because we've looked at uh, over the past three to four years, uh, there really hasn't been uh, an event such as what we're putting on. Uh, there is something parity to, to London Men's Fashion Week in Milan and Paris, New York and so on. Uh, really it's because uh, it's what the industry really needs. It's, uh, we've, we've talked about it for many, many years and it's actually going to happen next week. The event is taking place here at the Café Royal, but it's not been without its teething problems. It was originally scheduled for last January and was then postponed. And this time, two big names are not taking part, Vivian Westwood and Paul Smith. However, leading designer Paul Costello, known for his classic women's wear, is using Men's Fashion Week to launch his new men's wear collection. There's a couple of cynics, as in, in every business, when, 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 when it's starting off, you know, that people are... Well, because Paul Smith isn't showing, then the show isn't as great as it, as, as it could, could be. I, I think that a, a new Paul Smith could appear during Menswear Fashion Week. Uh, there's room for more people in menswear. There's, it's a small group, but um, it's a very nice group. It might not yet be on the scale of the women's wear event, but with established designers like Nicole Fari and Patrick Cox taking part, and major sponsors Honda behind the event, there should be plenty to rival London Fashion Week. The buzz surrounding Cool Britannia was too good an opportunity for the men's wear designers to overlook. Let's hope they cash in on the vibe with an excellent Men's London Fashion Week. Rachel Royce, Channel One, Cafe.